Hello friends, this video on perimeter and area part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. A circular flower bed is surrounded by a path 4 meters wide. So you have a circular flower bed like this. And then this flower bed is surrounded by a path all around it like this. The circle is not drawn very neatly. So, but in the question it is given that the width of this path is 4, cent, 4 meters everywhere. So, wherever you measure this width, this width is 4 meters. The diameter of the flower bed is 66 meters. That means this entire diameter is 66 meters. Let's assume this is the center. What is the area of the path? So we have to find out the area of this path. So the area of this particular path, how do we find this out? So we will again find out the area of the bigger circle and then we will subtract the area of the smaller circle from the bigger circle. So that is how we will do it. So let us first try to find out the area of the bigger circle. So the area of the bigger circle would be pi r square. Now what, what is the area? Like what, what would be the radius for the bigger circle? So 66 meter is diameter for the smaller circle. So when you consider the bigger circle, then what would be the diameter? The diameter would be 66 plus 4 on this side plus 4 on this side. Right? So the diameter of the bigger circle is 66 plus 4 plus 4. So let us write that up. So, diameter of bigger circle is equal to 66 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 74 meters. And what is the diameter of the smaller circle? Diameter of the smaller circle is 66 meters. Now, if we know diameter of both the circle, we can find out the radius also because area of the bigger circle is pi r square and radius is half of diameter. That is 74 by 2 whole square. So, this is equal to pi into 37 into 37. So, 37 into 37 is 1369. So, this is the area of the bigger circle. So, in a similar way, let us find out the area of the smaller circle. So, for the smaller circle, radius is equal, it will be equal to half of diameter and the diameter is 66. So, the radius would be 66 divided by 2 whole square. So, this is pi into 33 into 33. This is equal to 1089 pi. So, let us denote the area of the smaller circle as A2 and let us denote the area of the bigger circle as A1. Therefore, what would be the area of the path? So, area of path would be area of the bigger circle minus area of the smaller circle. So, that is equal to 1369 pi minus 1089 pi. So, this is equal to 280 pi that is equal to, so when you put the value of pi as 3.14, it is 280 into 3.14 that is equal to 879.2 centimeter square. Sorry, this would be meter square because everything is given in meters. So, 879.2 meter square. So, you see this is the approach that you should follow to solve real life problems based on area and circumference of circles. So, the first, your first step should always be to draw a rough diagram so that you get a clear understanding of the problem. Question number 7. Shazli took a wire of length 44 centimeters and bent it into the shape of a circle. So let's say this is the wire that Shazli had and she bent it in the shape of a circle like this. And the question says that the total length of this wire is 44 centimeters. So the length of the wire is nothing but the circumference of this circle. So circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. 
So 2 pi r is given as 44 centimeters, right? Because the length of the wire forms the total length of the boundary of the circle, which is nothing but the circumference. Now we have to find out the radius of the circle. That's pretty simple. 2 pi r is equal to 44. Therefore, r is equal to 44 divided by 2 pi. So we have to take pi as 22 by 7. So this would be 22 by 7, which is equal to 44 into 7 divided by 2 into 22. So this is 2 into 22. Again, 22, 22 gets cancelled. So this is 7 centimeter. Therefore, the radius of the circle is 7 centimeters. Also find its area. Now, if we know radius of a circle, so this is now known as 7 centimeters. So area would be pi r square that is equal to 22 by 7 into 7 into 7. So this 7 and 7 will get cancelled. So 22 into 7 is 154 centimeters square. So this is the area of the circle. Now, if the same wire is bent into the shape of a square, what would be the length of each of its sides? So the same wire now is bent in the shape of a square like this. So we have to find out the length of each side of this square. Now the total length of the wire still remains the same, right? And the total length was 44 centimeters. Now in this case, this 44 centimeter would be equal to the perimeter of the square, which is given by 4 into side. So 4 into L is equal to 44 centimeter. Therefore, L is equal to 44 by 4, which is equal to 11 centimeter. Therefore, the side of the length of each side of the square would be 11 centimeters. Which figure encloses more area, circle or the square? So area of the circle we have already found as 154 centimeter square. So in order to compare the two areas, we have to find out the area of the square. So area of a square is given by side into side that is length of one side multiplied by length of another side so length is given as 11 so 11 into 11 is 121 centimeter square so if you compare 121 with 154 what do you see 154 is greater therefore which encloses more area therefore a circle encloses greater area Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.